Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Triumph. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do cover stitch. Now, I also have another video on how to set your machine up for cover stitch. I invite you to watch that as well. For this one, we're going to actually do a stitch out. So, the way that you'd normally use cover stitch is with a stretchy fabric and you can also use it with jersey that tends to want to curl outwards. That's the beauty of cover stitch because it covers that curly out edge and it gives you a stretchy seam. Here's an example of same kind of fabric and see how it's got some stretch. That's because the needle threads actually form a little bit of a loop on the back and that also gives you a nice flat cover stitch. Okay. So to start out with, you want to have your fabric so that it has an even seam allowance going all the way down. I'm going to put a little bit of a pin here because one of the things I've noticed with cover stitch is if you don't pin it, sometimes you get a little bit of twisting of the fabric that happens because the presser foot pushes the top fabric forward, the top layer, and the feed dogs pull the bottom layer backwards. So I like to pin it just a little bit kind of close to the edge but far enough away from the needles. Now to position the fabric you're going to have the folded edge downwards and I can kind of feel through there where the edge of the fabric is. We want to have that even with this most left hand knob or wherever your needle is on the left that's what we want to have that mark lined up with. So if I had um, this is narrow left hand cover stitch. If I had narrow right hand, then the, the center mark, which would be that one right there, is where I would line up the edge of my fabric. And it's okay to have the edge of your fabric peeking out a little bit past the edge of, well, like this. That's okay to have that. The main thing is, is that you stitch it well. I like to have a little bit extra there because it kind of helps make a nice flat seam. Okay, so we're lowering this down, and you can also peek underneath to make sure that that lines up as well. Start sewing, and you can see the pin is well out of the way. Sew down here. Now one thing I notice is this is a little bit wavy. If that's the case, you may want to move up your differential feet a little bit. There you go. Now, what if you're sewing in the round? And most of the time you are when you're sewing like a, a cuff of, of a sleeve or the hem of a shirt, you're sewing in the round, you don't want to sew off the edge of the fabric. And I'm going to show you what to do with that. So stop with your needles up, lift up your presser foot. You can take any kind of tool. I like to just use the wrench that comes with this. And what I did is I swiped underneath so that I pulled the needle threads forward. Then I just cut them off with a little cutter that's already built in the machine. And then you gently pull it back. So see how those thread tails are being pulled through the fabric? Like that. And then you've got your looper thread. Pull that off. That pulls the thread tails back through. Now at this point, I like to tie the threads in a nice little um, square knot. And you could take any two threads and the looper thread or the looper thread and a needle thread doesn't really matter. The main thing is, is that you've got a knot there. And then if you're really fastidious, you can take a uh, um, big eyed needle and poke the end of that through. I just like to cut it off half an inch away and I'm good to go. Now, what about um, unstitching? Okay, so I'm gonna show you this again. Again, we have it, see we're in the middle here. So if you want to take your, um, your chain stitch out, it's easy to do. So let's, let's say you're practicing, you always should practice, and you have got a little bit off and you want to do it over again, well don't tie it off yet. Just take your darning needle or any kind of sharp pin and you take your needle thread, now I've got to cut these off a little bit shorter here. Yeah, cut your thread tails nice and short, so if you want to take that off of there, you can do that. Now you're going to take your needle threads out for a couple of stitches up at the top on the outside so that you can grab your chain stitch and it comes right out like that, the uh, looper thread. 
So it's easy to unstitch something if you've made a mistake or if you just want it a little more perfect. So that's how you do cover stitch. Now, of course, you can have it be three thread or a wide two thread or even a chain stitch. You can do that. And it shows you in your quick threading guide how to do those different threadings. Make sure you look at the picture as well as look at the chart up here when you set it up for that. So I hope you found this to be a helpful video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Montevilla YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.